In this video, I will demonstrate how to install an MSD crank trigger kit for a Chevy. This animation includes a harmonic balancer, timing pointer, flying magnet wheel, crank trigger sensor, and brackets. First, rotate the engine until the number 1 piston is on the compression stroke and at the desired timing mark. I'm using 40 degrees before top dead center in this demonstration. Next, drill a hole in the distributor cap where the number 1 cylinder terminal is, at a location so that you can see the rotor tip after the cap is installed on the distributor. Install the distributor without the cap in the engine while the rotor tip is in a position that will be easily accessed with a timing light later when the cap and wires are installed. This initial rotor phasing is not demonstrated in this animation, but will make final phasing adjustments simpler. Install the crank sensor and brackets on the engine. The sensor should initially be in the middle of the adjustment slot and the sensor should have between 50 thousandths and 80 thousandths air gap clearance from the flying magnet wheel. Also the sensor should be centered to the thickness of the wheel. Now hold the flying magnet wheel up to the balancer with the arrow facing away from the balancer. For demonstration purposes, I have labeled each of the four magnets at the outer edge of the wheel and the six balancer bolt holes. Both of the sets of balancer bolt holes are the same bolt pattern, but slightly offset to allow for adjustability of the alignment between the magnets and the sensor. Rotate the flying magnet wheel to a position that aligns one set of the bolt holes on the wheel with the three bolt holes in the balancer and gets one of the magnets on the wheel close to the sensor. There are six possible positions to mount the wheel to the balancer. It doesn't matter which magnet is aligned with the sensor as long as one of them is aligned or close to the sensor. In this demonstration, magnet number 4 and the B set of bolt holes have the magnet and sensor in near perfect alignment and no further sensor adjustment should be necessary. If you do not align a magnet with the sensor after rotating the wheel on the balancer, you can adjust the sensor up and down to achieve the desired alignment. Now you can install the three balancer bolts and tighten the sensor adjustment bracket bolts. Start the engine and make sure the timing and rotor phasing are at the desired position. If using an adjustable timing light, make sure the adjustment on the light is at zero. To retard the timing, move the sensor adjustment bracket up. To advance the timing, move the sensor adjustment bracket down. Some crank sensors must be installed on the right side of the balancer. In those configurations, timing adjustments are made in the opposite direction from this demonstration. Please visit holly.com for more detailed technical assistance.